I want to go over this document. It is called Movies Slash TV Series You Shouldn't Watch. Okay. We have to understand that when we watch the wrong movies, it is a possibility that demons can attach themselves to us or intervene in our situations in life. It is possible. So we have to stay away from anything that is demonic, really. Okay, let me read it. And my video may get in the way of some of the words right here. But bear with me. Watching the wrong movies will create doorways for Satan and demons to influence or torment you. These movies slash TV series are created from the pit of hell, made by Satan and his demons. It is then transferred to an evil individual or people. Then those wicked people intentionally produce these videos and purposely get people demonized. Rather, the person is in ignorance or by choice. Media has great influence on us. Don't be deceived. Entertainment is not just entertainment. It is indoctrination, a form of ministry. I will give you a basic list of movies and TV series you shouldn't watch. And this list may be outdated, but things that are similar to these movies much more as well stay away from it keep in mind there are a lot more movies and tv series that are bad that i can't think or know of once again you can do whatever you like but you but you now know the effects of media Okay. Number one, American Horror Story. Number two, Attack on Titan. Give me a second, please. Number three, Black Sails. Number four, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Number five, Charmed. Number six, Death Note. Number seven, Dragon Ball Series. Number eight, Family Guy. Mocks everything that pertains to God. It really does. Or should I say mocks things that pertain to God? Maybe not everything. Along with so much other evil things. Watch at your own caution. Best if you don't your choice so if really you really you really should not be watching family guy i'm serious number nine game of thrones i used to watch that very evil very bad stuff so much lust and sexual scenes it's crazy number 10 hannibal number 11 merlin Number 12, Naruto series. Number 13, Once Upon a Time. Number 14, 14, One Piece. Number 15, Pokemon. Number 16, Scandal. Number 17, or number 16, Saw series. Number 17, Scandal. Number 18, South Park, Mox, Things That Pertains to God along with so much other evil things. Watch at your own caution, best if you don't, your choice. Spartacus, number 19. Number 20, Teen Wolf. Number 21, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Number 22, The Exorcist. Very evil. Number 23, The Harry Potter series. Number 24, the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit series, the very demonic witchcraft, etc. 
I'm telling you, these things are going to get in your spirit. When it gets into your spirit, I'm telling you. So many of the time, you may want to change. You may want to change your life. But because you are entertaining these demonic stuff, it is going to make it much more difficult for you to change. I'm telling you. This may seem like a coincidence, but it is not. It is not. There is none or no coincidences in life. Everything happens for a reason. You just don't know all of the reasons. No coincidences. Okay. Number 25, The Tudors. Number 26, The Vampire Diaries. Number 27, The Walking Dead. Number 28, True Blood. Very evil. Tch. Number 29, Vikings. Number 30, Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you see a trend here? Most are all movies slash TV series and the horror genre is typically bad to watch. Horror typically shows you what Satan and demons want you to see. Horror doesn't beat around the bush with showing you demonic activity. The fantasy genre, this genre can be good and bad, depends on the content. If a particular movie slash TV show starts showing you monsters, witchcraft, or anything that can be connected to something sinister, you should stay away from it. If you don't, you run the risk in becoming demonically oppressed or possessed which have many levels. The drama genre is typically acceptable. Sometimes this genre is more clean than all the others. Sometimes they like to sneak nudity in some scenes, which is annoying, fair to mild language, usually acceptable language. Let me say this. If it is possible, don't watch any TV <laughs> if it is possible for you. For me, not really. <laughs> so it is best, let me say this, if you can read your Bible all day long, don't watch any TV and pray. So pray and read your Bible all day long. Not too many people can actually do that. I know I can't. So that would be your best option is to shut away TV and other enter entertainment sources and only read your Bible and pray all day long. If you can do that, that would be the best. But like I said, I can't. I don't think I can. Sometimes you just want to sit there and not really use too much brain power. <laughs> you just want to be entertained at times. I understand that. Okay. Well, I could go through most of the genres one by one. I think you get the idea here. Stay away from any video with number one. An abundant of sexual scenes. Yes. Stay away from anything that show you sexual scenes. Because that stuff is going to get in your spirit. And you're wondering why you are getting turned on or you want to have sex so much. Because of what you are viewing and listening to. Okay. Number two. Anything anti-human, very demonic, gives more honor to nature than humans. Number three, anything that promotes homosexuality, fornication, and adultery. So fornication is sex before marriage. Adultery is having sex with someone that is married that you are not married with. 
Number four, extreme cursing. Number five, gore, extreme graphic violence. Number six, mockery of God, anything that pertains to him. Number seven, witchcraft, magical power. If there is anything I missed, you can add your own. So as you can see here, stay away from, if it is possible, stay away from all TV series, movies, and stuff like that. Like, only read your Bible and pray, if that is possible for you. But the, these things that I have spoken of, stay away from it. Because if you don't, I'm telling you, your life is going to become more difficult, especially when you want to do things of God. Something to really think about. Okay, God bless.